Welcome to another YouTube upload. So this uh, this is PTS V Hami. So I have to say that this is Hamis, um, although it looks like um, a lot of the guys from Hami um, left Hami to join Hamis. I guess to get them into Hurricane League because I think all but one guy on this team is the Hurricane first team uh, for Hami. Just to clear that. Right, and we are today looking at the replay from the view of uh, you, Rebo. From me. Yes, and we have a double Des Moines, double Hindenburg, Sal and Monty set up on our side, and the Hamis guys went with a no DD tactics. Um, and Data Demon on the enemy team is playing the Minotaur. Uh, he used to be in PTS, and then due to some uh, some lengthy circumstances uh, we had to part ways with him uh, and now he uh, he is probably leading this one so we have some personal relationship with him as well uh, in fact um, again I was not playing this one but I, I would expect this is just my hunch him to push one flank very aggressively with his uh, with his entire fleet yeah we've seen this we've seen this before um, it's it, it's how data likes to lead. Um, he also likes to run with a no DD setup, which is it, it is a strong setup. We've tried it ourselves to much success, but we kind of because we've used it ourselves before, we kind of know how to combat it to a degree. Right, uh, Revo. Since I was not playing this uh, this game, uh, maybe you should uh, introduce the general idea that you guys had uh, uh, for this one. Yeah, so obviously keeping a very close eye on RPF and, and understanding the tactics and, and what you can do and what you can't do with that type of setup, it was fairly clear that it was probably going to be a massive air push. Um, RPF kind of gives that away. There is zero RPF from me. Uh, I'm looking in my own view at the moment and I, I'm not seeing any RPF pointing down towards B at this moment in time. Obviously somebody is capping B and there will be a defence on B, but it will be a diminished defence because we do believe fire RPF triangulation or whatever you want to call it um, that we that, that that's where the main push is going to be so the idea is to send up the Hindenburg and the Zhao um, to the north in a kiting away position um, you will see there's a, there's a there's a bit of an error from one, our Hindenburg player um, shortly and he, he does lose his life quite needlessly um, but still we're in quite a strong position the Zhao can get away and um, we can defend um, the idea is to take B and defend um, C that's the plan. Um, right. Obviously, again, with the Moskvas, very, very long radar. Um, so it, it's very important for me to keep my distance. Um, I can spot this guy from the moon almost, it seems. So um, there's absolutely no need to get the Yuyan close. Okay. So it, it does look to me uh, so far that the Zao and the Hindenburg on the A-line, indeed, you were talking about this just briefly. Um, I, I don't like their positioning so far north. Um, they could have been fine on the AB6 position and yep. then kiting away that way. We're going to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, impressive push. Right, so you've spotted this A push fairly soon. Yeah, you anticipated R correctly. Yeah, yeah, RPF. RP I mean, RPF was bouncing all over the, the, the sort of. E, um, I think it is it E4. How picked up RPF to start mm. with, which is obviously a very fast push initially. Yeah, I um, see that on the replay. Yeah, but yeah. and I mean full force. They they've gone full full uh, full on out on the A push now, um, and sadly we don't see um, we don't see any interactions there up north. But I would imagine that the Zao and the Hindenburg get slaughtered. Yeah, they take an awful lot of damage. Um, as you alluded to earlier, they they um, certainly the Hindenburg overextended. There was no need f for them to go that far. Um, mm. Somewhere around the B um, B B six area would have been absolutely fine. Yes. So now we're now, pushing now you're south. Pinging, you're pinging RPF there to show that there is a ship presence, not in the cap, but rather down uh, towards the yeah. core line. Yeah, so just in, just off the back of B. So that was quite that. I mean, that was we haven't seen that before. So that's that's something new. They're obviously possibly trying something new. I've not seen that before to have a ship in that kind of position. It's clearly going to be the Zhao, um, that they wouldn't put anything else out there. Zhao with detectability and, and kiting ability. Um, but I also suspect that there's going to be a Mosfer on B um, to protect it with radar. Mm, yeah, I would expect that too. Um, we also see that Maxis um, and Ryu there in the both both in the Moines. They are perfectly set up now. 
to push in. We're gonna see a pincer? Question? Where uh, one Des Moines goes around and one goes straight in? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So I think the Des Moines, if I remember rightly, pushes into the back of the island on five G5. And there we go, we've just lost uh, our our uh, our Schneewolf there with the Hindenburg yeah. North, so the first kill goes to them. Right, Sau gets spotted um, in the south. Yep, so I mean the Zao can't really do a great deal here. Um, as you can see by the circles on my minimap, you can see that I'm clearly staying out of the 11.7 um, radar zone of the MOSFA. Um, but I can, whilst doing so, I can easily keep that Zao spotted all day long without any trouble really whatsoever. Um, we've also got the Des Moines moving into the back of the island. We're in a strong yeah. position in the south. Oh boy, did you see that uh, damage on the Zao there? Yeah. Come out of Montana. That, that is... Um... Oh, that, that is a great good, good hit. Shot there. Yeah, great hit. Great hit um, by the bomb. It, it does look like... Um, look like our Des Moines there, Rio, is entering the cap fairly soon. Uh, he's, he's just in it. Um, and, and focus fire is full on on that Zao. And I think there's no way for him to go unspotted. Um, we do spot the Moskva. Yeah. So yes, we spot the Moskva on on B. So wow. I, I, you can see I've I've brought up the top prediction lines there. Um, I'm obviously not going to drop, um, because I think as soon as he is spotted, and I was also cautious that Ryu was pushing round to 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 delete the Moskva because Moskva mm, broadside yes. is easily deleted. Ah, uh, Ryu, uh, Ryu, uh, misplayed there. He takes a lot of damage from Moskva, I believe. But he does return that favor. Um, that looks like Juicy Citadels. And DPM from... Oh, wow. Yes, DPM from that Des Moines is not to be underestimated. Yeah. Moskva took uh, way too much damage. And, wow. Uh, yeah, actually, Ryu takes him down. That, that is a good result there. Yeah. So it is even now on points. Um, I would expect Ryu to try to get unspotted. Uh, angles in towards the Zhao and just stay still. So in the north, there's no at this moment in time we 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 don't see any major push along the C or B line to try and take our C cap. And um, so we're in a strong position right now. They're gonna go middle. I I I would expect at least that they're going middle. Yeah. Um, it it is astonishing to me actually that our Zhao uh, Ladoshka there he managed to disengage and survive and um. And our Hindenburg there in the form. Wow, we get another kill on the Zao. That's yeah, good. so the Zao goes down. Zao goes down, and now we have massive vision advantage as well because the Zao is usually the eyes and ears of that fleet. Um, Minotaur gets spotted for just a brief moment there in the middle. Um, so at this is taking a pounding, but yeah, um, at this moment in time, the thinking behind the DD was to get the DD back to the back of C to do some spotting in defense of C. Um, but then we see the curve first coming through the middle, so it's a very obvious, obvious uh, decision to put the um, the Yu Yang along the sort of H three. You can see me clicking there, actually. Yes. The so bomb. we do get the cap, I think, fairly soon yep. from Rio. Um, so far, there is no indication of Moskva. Whoa! Yeah. Well, Moskva got spotted in the middle. Rio is engaging that, um, and so the Rio is going to die, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, for the Mosfet to for the Mosfet to continue its its line of travel there is very very risky, especially when there's a Yu Yang um, staying out of his detection zone. Yes, yes. Well, so he's got to turn in. He he absolutely has to turn in. Never, nevertheless, you know, um, radar and the presence of a court first there is nasty. It is. But he can't stay in open water. He'll just die to tops. Yeah. Um, Salvo from the Montana. Do you see that? I saw that on the curve first. That yeah. was uh, that was about fifty k ish, forty fifty k ish. That that is uh, again bomb sniping shit uh, for the second time this game. Yeah, yeah, bomb had a great game. Yeah, yeah, we see uh, we see your torpedoes there going out. Were they aimed for core first or for Moskva or just both? Was it for both, for, for both. both. Okay. I mean, it's it's just pure fortune that it landed on the top prediction uh, line. Um, yeah. Had the top prediction line been anywhere else, I still would have sent them tops yeah. in the same location. Um, right, so we see a massive onslaught onto B now, and it will be interesting for Maxis to hold this out, if he, if he is impossible to do that. Um, bomb is in my mind a little bit overextended here he takes extended shots from everything yeah i your torpedoes look good oh yes um that that is good result there for the torpedoes 
Um, that force is on damage control on the Moskva, so he is susceptible, susceptible to damage. Um, the the problem for certainly for Hamid in this instance was pushing such a big force into such a bottleneck, yeah, especially the, when there's a Yuyang. Two tor torpedoes there from on the Hindenburg, so really an uphill struggle now for that onslaught of a force, um, since we have battleship and Maxis there in the Des Moines, cross shotting um, Hindenburgs and and Moskva. Uh, I would actually love to see a little bit more focus fire in terms of our guys there. So uh, I get C caught out by captured, radar there. And B is being captured. So I, I'm, I'm surprised to see how how this game turns out now, because in my mind, Hami is clearly in the advantage at the moment. They have established focus fire lanes. Our uh, radar is up. Maxis is too stationary in my mind, but he cannot really disengage, to be honest. We got a nice fire on the Moskva there, knowing that he's already damaged Con for his flood earlier. We know he's going to burn for quite a while. Yes, and we see torpedoes uh, going out soon. Yes, there we go. Um, right, the Minotaur gets spotted there. Um, and I think Maxis will be squeezed fairly soon. Because, you know... Um, Minotaur, Minotaur coming in behind. Minotaur close range, yeah. that's nasty. It looks like uh, Moskva there is surviving a little bit too long for my taste. Um, again, in my mind, Hami is in a massive advantages, uh, advantages position at the moment. We do see the kill on the um, snipe, the, 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 the Arizal sniped, um, sniped the Moskva there, that's a good kill. Yeah, a lot of card, a good game. Um, it appears to me that Lodoshka is making his way towards the A cap. Uh, yeah, so and the pressure. The frontal oh, Max is in it. Yes, Max is going down. I can promise you that. Yeah, now. yeah, Max goes down. We send uh, Lodoka to A to cap it to put pressure on it with the understanding that we, you know, we, we're not going to grab B. And But to be honest, C is looking quite strong now. But we are going to lose Max. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a nice. Oh. Again, I think that was a snipe from Bomb in the battleship there. Yeah, I mean, Bomb had a great game. Yeah, yeah. That's, but Max, that's we do lose matches to tops. Yeah, but, you know, Hindenburg charging you and mm. good players. You know, that's that's never going to happen. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the Minotaur does now because he cannot really fight a Zao and a Hindenburg um, alone. Maybe he gets lucky, but still nasty. He does get spotted for a brief moment, that Minotaur. I think he's running uh, radar, is that correct? He is running any smokes from yeah, ra radar. And now it's a two-on-one -on fight against this Grosso Court first from Bomb and yourself. Um, you're torpedoing, obviously, and just keeping the vision up. And Bomb is trying his utmost best to kill that um, core first. Uh, were you ever debating about a ram? Because then it would be a one-on-three situation, which is hard to come back from. No, I don't think I don't think I don't think we needed to. To be fair, um, I thought okay. we had it in control in the south with torps going in and Bomb being on fire oh, as he was God, with his shots. Again, the volley from Bomb there uh, wow. on that angle just surprises me actually. Yeah, so there's absolutely no need at this point to start considering a ram. We've got, uh, to, yes. we've got torps and on the guy as like well. It looks like torpedoes on him as well. Uh, two. Two floods, so there is damage control. However, um, you know, the the Grosskorf first is known for being a super good tank. So it's it's interesting to see what happens. He's turning into me as well, I guess, to try and get, get a spot on me with his plane. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. I mean... Yeah, it's still interesting. So Minotaur there in the middle is trying to chase the Zhao, but our Zhao is, uh, is firmly established in the cap, and as we can see... Um, can we see him? Yeah, we can. Um, Lodoka is, is still almost full health. So I don't see us losing this other than misplaying or RNG or whatever. Bomb is um, taking quite a bit bomb, of damage right now. Taking... Oh, yeah, Bomb is ooh, very low. Um, I yep. think that was a well timed um, heal there. <laughs> That was close, right? Maybe a little bit luck on our side as well, do you think? Yeah, possibly. I, th I do remember Bomb slightly misplayed at that particular moment in time, uh, which allowed him fine, to take damage. But, yeah, but then again, you see um, see Minotaur there in the middle cannot really do anything. Um, 900 points now, approaching uh, approaching the death of that core first. He's got a fire on him as well, and your torpedoes will come off reload. 
Yeah, there's no way. So this is GG now. Interesting. Um, I don't even shoot torps if I remember. No, but that, that is a good trade there. Um, that is a good trade, and, and I don't see the data there in his in his uh, minotaur ending this. Nope. Um, so then we go. We start heading back to B. I think just to, just to secure it. You never know in case you might get a lucky hit on yeah, yeah. Lodoka. Lodoka could. Yeah, I mean dot detonation isn't the thing. We're running at uh, detonation flags, obviously, but. Still, you don't want to go on a one-on-one -on -one fight with uh, a minotaur, a well-skilled minotaur up close. Um, no, 960-ish points. And again, you know, good, good alpha hits there on the minotaur. I mean, don't, we see the GG. Yeah, that was GG. I mean, they played it well. It's a very difficult um, setup to combat, obviously. Um, it's very, very strong. I would say they played it really well. I think Data there pushed the fleet very effectively back towards the caps. Um, However, I think that they miscalculated that it should have probably gone for Charlie uh, with the big force and not to Bravo. But then again, you know, a win is a win. So yeah. Coming back to B was their, was their downfall. If they'd have gone to C, might have been a different outcome. But, yeah. uh, okay, good game. Thanks yeah. for watching.